everybody. Welcome to the Spectator in the Zone post-game show. Ellie Schultz here with Miles Simmons and Spencer Giori. Some more fourth quarter magic today up at Baker Field, but this time it was the Lions waving the wands as they picked up a 26-22 win over Yale. Um, with 45 seconds to go, they got the, the game-winning touchdown on a pass to Mark Horace Garrett. Um, guys, your thoughts? Yeah, absolutely. Um, offensively, the Lions were led by a great passing attack. Sean Brackett mm -hmm. probably had his best statistical game all year. He threw the ball accurately, and he was productive all afternoon. He threw for 328 yards. He had two touchdowns, including a key rushing touchdown on third and goal at the one-yard line. Uh, and what was great about this for the Lions going forward is that a lot of the production came from young wide receivers. Jake Wanamaker had his first touchdown as a Lion, uh, transfer from UT San Antonio. Chris Connors, a freshman, had 96 yards on eight catches. And Connor Nelligan, who's quickly becoming the Lions' best offensive threat, had uh, 138 yards on 11 catches. The passing attack was critical for their offense production all day. Um, and you'll notice on uh, if you take a look at the stats that Brackett uh, uh, threw a pick, but that really was uh, you know was on a hail mary to close the first half. So it was really not uh, not didn't really have much of an effect on the game. Not at all. Um, anyway, uh, you will, you'll notice also that the the Yale offense did a pretty good job in its own right, um, led by sophomore running back turned quarterback today, uh, Tyler Vargas. Yeah, Tyler Varga actually had to step in at quarterback because Yale has had a bunch of injuries to quarterbacks and they're down. So, you know, they needed Varga to go right now today. And so what happened was, I mean, he ended up running the ball 25 times for 220 yards. He didn't really pass much. I mean, he was basically doing a lot of option stuff uh, out of the shotgun formation and the pistol formation. So like I said, he had 220 yards on 25 carries, had three touchdowns, 8.8 .8 yards a carry. But the Lions stopped him when they needed to stop him in order to win the game today. Yeah, um, I, even though the, the Yale passing attack though was not very was not really present, I'll take 220 yards and three touchdowns. Yeah, yeah. Day. Even Coach Mangurian said he's happy he doesn't have to see Tyler for another year. Um, so he had a huge game too, but um, there was a big, a little bit of a, I don't know if this was due to the uh, uh, personnel changes at quarterback, but um, a miscommunication or I'm sorry, a, a bad snap uh, resulted in a line safety um, yes, it did. in the second quarter with uh, eight thirteen to play. Ryan Murphy uh, tackled um, the Yale player in the end zone that uh, brought Columbia back within two um, seven to five. Yeah, that was actually the first safety that the Lions have had since two thousand and two, October fifth. So it's once in a ten. Been a long thing, time coming. Been a long yeah. time coming, but um, that was good to see. Definitely a huge, uh, a good momentum play. Mm -hmm. um, so overall, solid win for the Lions. Uh, got the got the passing game involved. Uh, maybe a little bit. You'd like to shore things up defensively. Never good to see two hundred twenty yards uh, on the ground from anybody. Even the great Tyler Varga. That's true. But um, uh, hopefully the Lions will uh, patch the, those things up um, for next weekend when they when they take on the, the mighty Crimson. That's right. Um, so we'll see you next weekend in Cambridge.